right now there's a, a hurricane started. His name is Fred. <laughs> and, but now it turned to a tropical storm, Fred, you know. And thank God he's not coming this way. But um, here in Miami, um, we're in hurricane season, you know. And, and you know what happens to all of us? You know, the weather determines our outings and uh, determines if we're going to go out or not, right? And um, you see the cloud, you say, oh, my God, if you live in the north, say, oh, man, it's, it's going to snow. If you live in the south, it's going to rain. And then you say, oh, my goodness, it's uh, hurricane season. You know, I got to get ready. And then it becomes a tropical storm. Got to get the umbrellas out, right? Mm -hmm. Most of us, when we see, we see clouds, we see trouble. Oh, my goodness, oh, my hair. <laughs> you know, and... Um, and we live in a time that the thing seems then seems to be cloudy, right? But you know, I it's time for the church to soar. Amen. It's time for the church to take flight. You know, um, whatever your outlook is right now, start looking over the outlook. Jesus. Look over the outlook. Tell the person next to you, look over the outlook. Oh, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, you know this when you when um you take a plane, right? It always flies to great altitude, right? And they when they reach the altitude of about 35,000 feet, 42,000 feet, they call it the sweet spot. The reason they call it the sweet spot, because you know they're above the storm. You see? And one of the things they, they call it a sweet spot is because when a the plane is at that high altitude, it's more fuel efficient, right? The thin air creates less drag on the aircraft, so it doesn't have to use so much fuel. You know, uh, it also it avoids traffic, you know, because there's birds that uh, fly at low altitude, there's drones, right? There's helicopters and small planes, so they just got to go up to avoid all that traffic. And another thing is the weather, right? Is that when they go above the clouds, they're above the troposphere. And when they're above the troposphere, you know, they're above the weather. So that's why when you look out the window, it's so shiny, it's so clear, you enjoy the ride. And you know, when you fly at that height, you go above the turbulence, you know? Those fly pockets, all of a sudden you go, whoa, you know, you think the plane's dropping, you know. And then all of a sudden the, the, the pilot takes control and the plane's a little high. Amen. So you don't have to go through that. Come on now. And you know, when you there's an emergency, the plane is so high up, they have more time to take care of the emergency. And they have more time to plan if they have to make an emergency landing to find a safe spot. A safe place to land. Praise God. Oh, Fred, what does that have to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what that has to do with us? Oh, we're you know? high school. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we want you to be more efficient Come on, sir. in your walk with Christ. Yes. You know, we want you to go above the weather, climb high. We want you to avoid all those turbulence in your life, those Amen. turmoil, those problems. Amen. And those emergencies, we want you to avoid all that. You see, but Brother Fred, how I do this, how I do that, I don't have a, a pilot license, you know. Mm. So spend more time in praying. Right. Maybe you pray once a day. Maybe you need to be like Daniel now. Yeah. You gotta pray three times a day. Spend more time reading God's word. Maybe you're the person that reads the scripture and move on. Maybe you, you, read, you need to read a chapter a day and finish the book. You know, maybe you need more time to exercise God's word. Not just agree, oh, man, hallelujah, yes, praise the Lord. No, exercise God's word. Maybe you need more time to spend with God in fasting. That's like a date. You know, when you fast, it's private. It's between you and God. You know, deny yourself of a need. You see, what effect all this has in your life, in our life, in this walk in Christ? Your faith grows. My faith grows. 
our trust in God grows. Yes. We get closer to God. And we go above the clouds of life. Yes. Praise God. Tell the person next to you, are you ready for the message? Are you ready for the message? Praise God. You know, the message, the title of the message is Above the Clouds. Amen. Above the Clouds. You see, it was a time Moses gathered the nation and he addressed them because he's not, he was not going with them. And, and I think God wants to address his people at this time. And Moses said this in Deuteronomy 31, 6. He told them, be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them, whatever the circumstances. Whatever your nation's going through. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. Amen. He will not leave you nor forsake Amen. you. Hallelujah. He will not leave you or forsake you. He is the one that's going to go with you. Praise God. You know, guys, um, can we praise the Lord for just a moment? Hallelujah. And can we just say two simple words? Be glorified. Jesus. Praise God. If you want to stand up, you can do that. As the piano player comes, you know, <laughs> praise God. And you say, be glorified. Come on. Be glorified. The King of Kings. Be glorified. The Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Be glorified. Jesus. Jesus. Let's pray. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for this time that you gather us, Almighty God, that your Holy Spirit, Father Lord, is going to minister to us. It's going to speak to our heart, Almighty God, Father. We love you and and we bless your holy name, almighty God. Father, bless us this morning. Yes, Lord. Bless everyone that's listening, Father. Bless every family that represent, is represented this morning, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we also pray for Haiti. We stand the gap for Haiti, Jesus. almighty God. Yes. Father, that you make provisions, almighty God, for those folks that lost Loved ones, Almighty God, have mercy on them. Consult their hearts, Almighty God. Make a way for Haiti. Forgive their transgression, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hey, I want you to tell the person next to you, to get ready, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. And just as, as you, and that's a, just like as you take a flight, you know, buckle up. Praise God, because we're going to reach great altitude. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you faith, you know, it's the Holy Spirit ministering to you. Praise God, because no oxygen is going to come down. He's our oxygen. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's take flight. Hallelujah. You know, take flight means you got to you got to leave. You know, take flight means that, you know, or you got to run away from danger, right? You got to take flight. You know, and in this circumstances right now, we have to take flight. You see, God prepared us to the eagle. Yes. Praise God. You know, an eagle, you know, flies high where he cannot be reached. Right? And when he's up there, he can see everyone and he can see everything. Praise God. You see, but if you stay in the ground, you can't see everything. Right? And the clouds are way above you, right? So the eagle is a bird of prey. They have bird advantage when they are high up. They could see their prey. They could hunt. We are hunters. We are hunters of people. We got to hunt people so they could be saved. They could be blessed. That's why we sent a text to you. That's why we sent a message and invite so you could hear God's word. Because we want you to be blessed. Hallelujah. You know, we look out for danger. When you are up high in flight, you look out for danger. And when danger comes, you stand in the gap 
for yourself, for your family, for your loved one, for this city, for the nation. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you know what? We pray on our enemies. Hallelujah. You see, when you're up there, you can see your enemy. And you, and whatever the enemy plans, we can destroy their stronghold. Praise God. Thank you, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. Take flight. Take flight. Take flight. This is not for the faint heart. Because God didn't make you that way. He made you a warrior. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. So, what happened when the, the hot hair, right, grow in the, in the land and heats up, right? And it's next to a cool air, the hot air raises up. And that's called thermal air. And you see the evil is equipped. When they see the, when he feels that thermal air, he uses a little muscle so he can take flight. And when he takes flight, it is easy for him because now he glides, he soars. Praise God. Am I speaking to someone? Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. You see, when he's in the air, right, it's less work for him. When he's in the air, he just glides. He can see everything. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible uses the Bible, uses the evil to teach us spiritual things. I want you to follow me. Look what Isaiah 43, 31 says. But those who wait on the Lord, praise God. Read the word, man. Whatever your circumstances, you just wait on the Lord. The Lord is going to direct you. Open your ears. The Lord is going to speak to you. Hallelujah. You will renew their strength. Look at this. You're going to be, you're going to have new strength. They shall walk up with wings like eagles. Praise God. That means you're going to take flight. They shall run and not be weary. Look at that. They ain't going to catch you. They shall walk and not faint. You could be walking a mile. Praise God. You see, are you following me? There's some similarities here to our walk, to our life in Christ Jesus. You know, when things get hot around you and the hot air rises because of the situation, the problem, the government, the COVID, whatever it is, that's the time is for you and I to spread our wings. Not to complain, but to spread our wings. And we got to take flight. And when you take flight, you are ready to fight. Because when you glide, you can see everything. And you, you're not wasting so much energy. Praise the Lord, because you are so high up and you can see the problem. Hallelujah. You could see your enemy. Can you imagine you being at 10,000 feet? Hallelujah. You could see everything. And you got the eyesight that you could see everything. Praise God. And you swoop down. You're coming at such a speed at 2,000 miles per hour. Woo! That enemy doesn't know what's going to hit him. Praise God. Hallelujah. So rise above the clouds. The problem, the situation. Hallelujah. You can see your prey, your enemy, when you are high. Right. Praise God. And you can kill it. Praise the Lord. Come on, man. I think I'm speaking to someone today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, follow me. Deuteronomy 32, 10 to 12. Hallelujah. He says, he found him in the desert land and in the wasteland. A howling wilderness. He encircled him. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. As an eagle stirred up his nest, covers over his young, spreading out his wings, taking them up, carrying them on his feet. So the Lord alone led him, and there was no foreign God. You know, perhaps you're going through something like this, but look, as the eagle, he's going to spread over his wings, over you, over your situation, like his child, like his young. Hallelujah. I think God is speaking to someone right now. 
because you see your situation that seem hopeless, that you seem alone. Wherever you are at, hallelujah, he's spreading his wing over. You know when the eagle spread his wing over the nest, that he is so high up, it covers the nest. Not even the weather, not even the storm, not even his enemy could reach get to his young. That's how God will protect you because he is with you. Praise God. I believe God is speaking to someone. He's not speaking to you, he's speaking to me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just as like Psalm 91 is that that he will. He will cover you with his feather, hallelujah. Under his wing, he will take refuge. Praise the Lord. That's our God, hallelujah. You gotta be above the clouds. We have to be above the clouds. We have to take flight, hallelujah. Take flight, praise God, hallelujah. You see, God is showing you things right now. He's comparing you as an eagle so you can take flight. Praise the Lord, praise God. You see, he created everlasting. Because he is everlasting. Amen. Hallelujah. The word infinity, that's God. There's no end. He's everlasting. And you know what? God wants you to be in his everlasting family. Amen. But Brother Fred, how I achieve this, how I get there. You know, this is having a personal relationship with God. You know, this is about religion. This is having a personal relationship. Just as you speak to your wife, just as you speak to your children, you have that type of relationship. That's the relationship he wants to have with you. And you know, on your daily devotion, that's like ongoing contact with him. And your daily devotion, you know, you have a moment with him, a time away from everything with him. But how do I do this? By accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. By taking time out for prayer time. By having some reading time. Read God's word, hallelujah. Some time to date the Lord. I call that fasting. That's between you and him. Praise God. And share God's word with others. And take authority on Mark chapter 16. Come on, someone. Take authority of that and exercise it. Praise the Lord. This is not your most. Come on. Well, Brother Fred, I got a house. I got a boat. I even got a plane. Praise God. I even go golfing. This is not your most. I got hair, Brother Fred. This is not your most. Praise God. This is not your greatest living. You see, when you have God, there is more, much more, greater more, infinity more. Praise God. You see, in the book of Jeremiah, right, chapter 3, right, the Lord in his name, and he said, call on to me, pray to him, and I will answer you, praise God. Look at this. And I will show you great and mighty things that you don't know. Wow. That's what God has for you, for you and your family. That's what God has for all of us. Praise God. Let's take flight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't let the circumstances worry you. Call out to God. Let's not stay in the ground. Go above the clouds. Right. Take flight. Because right. he is everlasting. This world shall pass, but his word will not pass. All his promises are true, true to you. For those that believe, that trust in the Lord. Come on, and you are one of them. You see, the Bible also said that Jesus is coming. He already came, but he's coming again. Are you ready? Because he wants you to be part of his everlasting family. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive Jesus Christ when he comes? Praise 
is God. You know, Revelation 1, it says, I'm going to read 7 first. It says, Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him. You're going to see with your eyes, Jesus Christ. Everyone. Even those who are against him, everyone. Even those that pierce him, everyone. He says, all the tribes of the earth will see him. Everyone will see him. Praise God. And then he responded, he said, verse 8, he says, I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and was and who is to come, the Almighty. Praise God. Why he's come? Because he wants you to be part of his everlasting family. Come on, son. Take flight. Praise God. Don't just stay there. Don't stay in the ground. Let's go above the clouds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let nothing keep you. Sometimes a plane can't take off, but he's, he's overloaded, you know? Like sometimes we have so many unforgiveness inside that we can't even take flight, you know? And, you know, some of us, like, we even think about what our parents did. Our parents passed away. We can't go back to that. Some of you even think about what happened to our, our child. We can't go back to that. But we can say, Lord, forgive my parents. I forgive my parents. And release that weight. Praise God. Whatever heaviness you carry, give it to him so you can take flight. You could take flight and you could be above the cloud. Praise God. Don't look at the problem. Look at the solution. And the solution is Jesus Christ. Yes. Someone say amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. You see, when you start asking for forgiveness, God do things. I'm going to tell you a story. In Daniel chapter 9, it talks about Daniel. And Daniel, he is praying. You know, he's even confessing his sin and the sin of his people, of the of, of the nation, let's say. He's asking for forgiveness for himself and for everyone. And you know what happened to Daniel? An angel appeared to him. And you know what happened to Daniel? God revealed to him what's going to happen. Praise God. That's the type of relationship you need to have. And that's when you start releasing all this heaviness, this forgiveness, this sin. Confess your sin. You be released from all that. And you could take flight. And you could get close to God. He would send angels around you. Man, he would reveal things to you that you don't know. Praise God. Hallelujah. Man, there's a there, there's a there, there's a Bible verse in 2 Chronicles 7 40. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my first and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven. Look, he will hear from heaven. And I will forgive their sin and heal their home. Can you imagine your prime minister, your king, your queen, your president, our president, to ask everybody to pray and to ask for forgiveness and he'll pray ask for forgiveness? There'll be revival. He, God said he will heal our land. Hallelujah. Praise God. You pray for your president. You pray for your prime minister. You pray for your king. You pray for your queen. You pray for your mayor. You pray for yourself. Hallelujah. Start with you. And watch revival start in your life. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, some people think that uh, these kingdoms are going to last. You know, it's not. History says that the Babylonian Empire is God. It was a powerful empire. The Persian Empire was powerful. It's God. The Greece Empire, hey, it's God. The Roman Empire, hey, it's God. And you know what? If we don't repent, we're going to be God too. I just want to encourage you, like we read this morning. 
like we read at the beginning where Moses addressed the people. He said, be strong, good, courageous. Do not fear, don't be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, he is the one who's going to be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Praise God, you're not alone. God is with you, man. Press on. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So it's, we do things like we're going to live forever. Like we got it all in all. You know, you know what the Bible says? That our life ends. Man's life is the grass that withers, the flower that fades, but the word of God stands forever. Psalm 103, it says, 15 through 18, says, As for a man, his days are like grass, as a flower of the field, so he flourish. For the wind passes over it, and it's gone. Look, it's over. And this place, remember, it's no more. But look at this. 17. But the mercy is of the Lord is from everlasting and everlasting on those who fear him, on those who love the Lord, on those who trust on the Lord. Praise God, man. What a wonderful God is. And it's righteousness to your children. I mean, the blessing I learned for you, but it's also for your children. Praise the Lord. To such as keep his covenant, and to those who remember his covenant. Those who remember, keep the word. Keep the word. And take flight. Hallelujah. You know, in Revelation 1, there's a verse that says, Man, Bless the ones who read the word, keep the word. Hallelujah, it's prophecy. Keep it, man. Those promises are for you. Hallelujah. <laughs> he is everlasting because he is. He is everlasting. Hallelujah. And he wants you to be part of this family because he loves you. Praise God. Psalm 1 and 3 reminds you, says, forget not all his benefits. You know, when you're in the brow, when you're in the grind, when you are consumed by this world, the worries, you forget his benefits. You know, take flight. Be above that. Psalm 103, 1 to 2 says, bless the Lord, all oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Oh, man. That's why when we started, we started to pray and say, be glorified. Because my soul is blessing. Your soul is blessing God. It's time to praise him. And give him thank and be grateful for all the things that he has given, all the benefits. Hallelujah. Express thanksgiving. Express it with your voice for all the benefit that he has given you. Praise God. Hallelujah. The goodness of God that he has granted us. Praise the Lord. Should never be forgotten. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul. Oh, Hallelujah. All oh, that is in me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, in the army 8, it says, Beware 12, 11, 12, through 14 says, Beware, do not forget the Lord your God by not keeping his command. Less that, you know, when you have a lot of food, you eat in this fine restaurant, you start forgetting. When you, your, your economy multiplies, you start forgetting about God, you know. The promises you gave God, all of a sudden you forgot about them. But remember, he brought you out of Egypt. He brought you out of slavery. He brought you out of sin. How do you? Don't forget. Don't forget the 
praise God, praise God. You know, in uh, Second Chronicles 32, it talks about the King Hezekiah, that his country was going to be invaded, his nation was going to be invaded. And Hezekiah and Moses started praying, and God gave him favor and destroyed his enemy. And his enemy, who had invaded many nations, he said, I'm going to take this, guys. There's going to be no problem. But you know what? God was with them. And he destroyed his enemy. And in verse 25 it says, But Hezekiah did not repay according to the faith shown to him. Wow. All of a sudden, you know, he, all, he got all pride in him. For his heart was lifted up. Look, that's pride. Therefore, wrath was moving over him, you know, the Judah in Jerusalem. When pride comes over you, hey, he says that wrath was moving over him and the Jews in Jerusalem. Yes. Not only you, wrath can be in your household. So I'm going to be mad pride. But then he says that Hezekiah humbled himself. Praise God. He remembered God. He humbled himself. You know? And no wrath came to him. And he prided in all his work until his death. Praise God. Is that what you want? Let's humble ourselves and remember God. Praise God. Hallelujah. God is so good. Let's continue with Psalm 103. He's verse 3 to 4 said, Who forgives all your inequities? All your inequities. Who heals all your deceits? Who redeems your life from destruction? Praise God. Who crowns you with love and kindness and tender mercy? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tell the person next to you, say, man, you have love and kindness and tender mercy. Oh, Praise God. God. Look at that love and mercy crown. Crown that you have. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your mercy. You know, when Adam sinned, we all born, were born into sin. You know, we began that experience of sin, of death, of illness, all through that. But here, David is reminding us, like, look, he can forgive all your sins. No matter what your background, no matter what your situation, he can heal all your disease, no matter what you're going through. Trust in the Lord. He redeems your life from destruction. Without God, you were never going to live with God. But with God, He delivers you from destruction so you can live eternity with His family. Praise God. Isn't God so good? Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And look at Psalm 103, verse 13. It says, As the Father pity his children, so the Lord pity those who fear him. God shows mercy on us. Hallelujah. You see, this mercy should motivate you to follow God. This mercy should motivate us to keep his word. This mercy should motivate us to continue to seek God, to take flight, to have that closeness with God so that grace and mercy can continue to follow us. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, this is probably, this probably is not, in my notes, but maybe you could write it down. Proverbs 8.35. Proverbs 8.35. It says, For whoever finds me, whoever finds me, finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Obtains favor from the Lord. Yeah. Isn't that so wonderful? Man, you don't want favor from man because Man does not give anything free. But God gives you favor. Hallelujah. God is so good. We started this with, with the verse, Deuteronomy 31, 6, to be strong and of good courage. Come on. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them. Do not fear, 
not be afraid of them, the circumstance, the situation, your enemies, whatever circumstance your nation, your country is going through. Do not fear. For the Lord your God, he is one who goes with you. He's the one who's going to go with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. You know, how do we take flight? Getting close to God. You see, to get to God, the worldly things are not going to work out. You know, remember when you need the bounce so that you could get to any club? Or you make reservation, you pay, you got the best seat in the house, right? Or your position, whether you are the president or the coal miner's daughter, ain't going to get you in heaven. How do you know that, Brother Fred? Because the word says, by the fruits, you will know them. You see, if they were God, they would show God in fruits, Bible truth. You see, to go to heaven, it's not going to work even if you have got connections and network. Ain't going to get you in. But if you know God, he's the way, the truth, and the life. It's only through him you're going to go to heaven. So trust in the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Fred, I want to take flight. I want to go above the clouds. I want to go above all these circumstances. I want to go above all this situation. Hallelujah. This all begins with a relationship with Jesus Christ. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. And we can make a prayer today. And accept it. And if that's you, that's what you want to do, we can do that right now. So everybody bow their head. We can pray. And we can accept Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pray with me. It says, Lord Jesus, forgive me for my sins. I repent for my way. I open my heart to you, Jesus. I open my heart to you, Jesus. And I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Wreck my step. I wreck my step. Guide my life. Guide my life. Help me take flight above the clouds. Help me take flight above the clouds. Above my present situation. Above my present situation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God is so good. That in the midst of our circumstances, he hoovers like an eagle and protect us and put us on his way and take us out of that dry land to the land of milk and honey. Jesus. Praise God.